name is Damien, there is my partner Rubén. And first of all, this is very difficult to explain even if you are speaking your own language. So, if you are speaking English, it makes this much harder. So, anyway, today we are going to talk about something very interesting. And as you can see in the screen, today we are going to talk about the after brain. And more specifically, we are going to talk about the after brain in the living. Now we are going to see a little bit about what we are going to see. First of all, we are going to see what acid rain is. Then we are going to see the compositions of the two types of acid rain. Next, we are going to see the impacts, then the solutions for the acid rain, uh, the acid rain specifically in Galicia, the bibliography, and the authors of this work. <coughs> well, what is it? Well, the acid rain is like the normal rain, but it is not uh, H2O, uh, water, it is not water which is falling from clouds. It, it is, or it can be, sulfuric acid or nitric acid. Another difference between the two types of rain is uh, that in the normal rain, the pH is uh, 5.65. And uh, which is a little bit acid. And in the acid rain, the pH is 4.2, which is very acid. Uh, in the acid rain, the pH can even reach 3, which is even more acid. Well, now we are going to see the composition of uh, nitric acid rain. <coughs> okay, transports release NO. Well, I'm going to explain a little bit more this in the blackboard. In the air, we can find nitrogen and oxygen. Uh, the nitrogen reacts with the oxygen and it becomes <laughs> NO. This reaction right here happens when the temperature <laughs> environments the pH of the water gets lower and this makes 
that many species can survive with uh, that conditions. Okay, now corrosion of infrastructures. The acid rain can destroy monuments or important buildings because the acid can destroy rock or even metal. What you are seeing in this picture is a gargoyle, which is in Spanish gargola, of the Notre Dame, <laughs> of the Notre Dame Cathedral, and as you can see, it is all a road because of the of the acid. It is not uh, only uh, monuments or important buildings. It uh, can be um, all type of buildings, but the most important are the monuments and important buildings because we can repair them and it, they are very important. Okay, now we are going to the deterioration of lands. This is a little bit more complicated. I'm going to explain in the black color also. <laughs> Imagine that this is the earth. And the, the earth. And here we have <coughs> the cloud with the, the acid rain. The acid rain, uh, the products of the acid rain uh, drag on the ions on the earth. And this makes that the earth have less nutrients. More or less or Greenhouse effect. Uh, we all know what greenhouse effect. Uh, uh, some sunlight that hits the earth is reflected and becomes heat. Uh, even uh, although this effect is minimum with, without the, with the acid rain, uh, it exists. And uh, how you can see, uh, it makes that the atmosphere hold more solar beams. Okay, and now we are going to see the solutions for the acid rain problem. Revise the contamination, add rain compounds, regulation of governments, and use natural fertilizers. Uh, Revise contamination. You can revise contamination using public transport. <laughs> <laughs> and this will make uh, not release more harmful cases. Uh, other rain compounds to there to, to make this more basic than acid. The acid compounds uh, are these. The alkaline compound uh, are which is are in, the re in red. You can see that. <laughs> okay, and this will make the animals survive more easily. Okay, the government should uh, control the factories because the pollution makes them by fines or closing the lift, the factories. Use natural fertilizers uh, to help keep clean the environment. And now we are going to talk about the IC rain Galicia. Galicia is the community with the highest rates of SO2 and NO. In Spain, uh, Galicia makes the 30% uh, of all this type of pollution in Spain. The responsible for this are Endesa in Las Pontes and Fenosa in Meirán. The two companies were sanctioned with the, by the Union Europea, and these companies have to do renovations or close their factories in. 2020. <laughs> okay, now uh, these are the the sites we have um, utilized with by uh, for the work. And obviously, the authors of the work are Ruben Gomez and Damian Garcia. Hope that you like it, and if you have any question, uh, we will try to answer. <laughs>